Hey everybody, my name is Kyla Mayho, and today we are going to go through another Udemy Java programming example called Equality Printer. Now, we all know that equality is hard sometimes, but with computers, no matter for a person or a number, we're all the same. We're all basic code. So let's start with reading the problem, and then we are going to start coding in IntelliJ on the right side, and then we're going to run it. And once it works correctly on the right, we're going to retest it on the left against the Udemy tester. And we all, just a reminder, we all know if we get on the first try, you got to leave a like, subscribe, notification bell if you have anything you guys like or learn anything new. So let's get started with reading the question. Write a method print equal with three parameters of type int. The method should not return anything, which means it's a void method. If one of the parameters is less than zero, print text, invalid. All the numbers are equal, print text, all numbers are equal. If all numbers are different, print text, all numbers are different. Otherwise, print neither all are equal or different. Examples. We have some examples here. We have four examples, so it'll basically test each version of our output. Then we have some notes and some tips. Tip one. Be extremely careful with your spaces in the printed message. Notes. The solution will not be accepted if there are extra spaces. The method print equal needs to be defined as a public static like it does in the rest of this course. And do not add main method to solution code. Again, that last note mainly means when we copy over, which you'll see here if you make it to the end of the video, we are just going to copy over the specific method, not our whole class that we created and the main function that we need to test it. So let's get to coding. Now, let's start off with creating the method. We know it's gonna be a public static void method since it's not gonna return anything. And the method is called print equal. In this case, yes, we have to have everything exactly the same in order for it to work. But the good thing is the parameters don't matter. So I'm just gonna use int num one int num2 and int num3. Alright, so now we know we're going to basically have an if statement that's going to withhold four different cases. We have the invalid option. And in this case, we don't need to declare any variables here, any new ones, because we're all going to be working off of three parameters given. So the first step, the invalid option is if one of the parameters is less than zero, print text invalid. So again, what that's saying is if any one of these parameters is less than zero, you're going to print the text. So just to make everything a little nicer, I'm going to put each one in parentheses to make it easier to see. Curly braces, sys out. Invalid, valid. And you guys always have the option of pausing the video before I start coding. If you guys want to test it out yourself and then compare it on what I'm doing, because you guys can also have different answers than me. It's possible. Not always, but sometimes. So we did do the first one, which is the invalid option. So now let's do the second case, and that's if all the numbers are equal. So that's pretty simple, right? So we just do num1 equals equals num2 equals equals num3. Because here, it's just checking to make sure that all the numbers are exactly the same, and that's the only case that this would print out. So in this case, if you saw one of my other videos in terms of printing everything out, you know that we would have to do returns in terms of the invalid option, but here we wouldn't. Well, we may still have to do that here. 
So let me just wait and see. I don't want to spoil the fun. Okay. We have to make sure we have all these available here. So if one one equals if num one equals num two, num two equals num three. We have to make sure we have ands because they all have to equal. And then we have to make sure num three equals num. Okay, so that cleared up that error. So that was the second case. If you guys want me to write the comment here, I can do that. Just to make it easier, uh, numbers. Okay. Then the third case we're going to have here is if all numbers are different. So it's basically going to be the same thing as the previous line. All different numbers. Except... We are just going to have them be not equal instead of equal. So, in a sense, we can just do this. Copy this line. Paste it. That's a good thing about code, too. You can reuse a lot of code, but we'll get to that later on when we go through recursion. Okay, so if all the numbers are different, basically not equal, then we're going to print out all numbers are different. All numbers are different. Okay, and then we have one more case, which is the else case. The one we don't really care about, but if none of the top three work, it's going to print out neither are equal or different. All right, so now let's run it and see if it's gonna work. I'll bring back up the output answers, see if we get it right. And it looks like we got everything correct on our side, so let's double check it on the Udemy side. Again, I wanna thank anybody for getting to this far. Leave a like if you guys learned anything new or Enjoyed anything? Okay, let's see what's going on. First try, first try. Let's see, paste, and copy. So let's control V. Check the solution. Okay, we have some errors. It says I basically forgot a parentheses somewhere. So. Like right here, we added an extra one. Or we need another one. This is just having to do with them. If I get the same error, we'll just delete it. Okay, so let's reset the window. I just probably, oh yeah, see, I forgot the curly brace. You have to get the whole method, just not the class itself. Just a little tip for you guys. Okay. Go again, check the solution, it says one of them was incorrect, um, it's looking like we just have a spelling error, yeah, it just needs to say neither all are equal. So here again it's an example of how Udemy's tester has to be exact, otherwise it'll give you errors. We didn't do anything wrong. They want to see exactly what they have a test set up for. And we got it. So go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you learned anything new. Like anything. Leave a comment below if you guys have any questions or any suggestions on any further videos you may want me to do. And don't forget to have a great day and keep learning. See you guys next time. Bye.